Welcome to the dedication of the newly renovated Schwenkfelder Library and Heritage Center. Today, we're so happy to be celebrating the end of our capital campaign that was aptly titled, Honoring the Past and Building the Future. As we look around our galleries, barn, and archival storage, we see tangible evidence of that past. We're fortunate now to have new space, modernized space, in order to care and preserve this collection and display it for years to come. From this evidence, we can see how people have worked hard to raise their families, to make a living here in the Perky Omen Valley for over the last 200 years. In a region undergoing great economic and demographic change, we can be inspired by these stories of migration, family, faith, and community as we work together to shape a new future for our region. The Upper Perky Omen Valley is home to several communities of German immigrants who came to America for religious freedom and to find a more tolerant way of life than they had experienced in Europe. While each group had different methods of worship, the Pennsylvania Germans, including the Schwenkfelders, shared more similarities than they had differences. The Schwenkfelders became known by their loving tolerance for each other's differences. This way of life among the various groups of people of the Perkiomen Valley back in the 1700s has greatly influenced the culture and quality of life we experience in our region today. The history of the Perkiomen Valley cannot be told without the Schwenkfelders and the Pennsylvania Germans. As our community becomes increasingly diverse, it is critically important that our heritage be shared with others as the disappearing principles, values, and way of life of the Schwenkfelders and early Pennsylvania German immigrants must be remembered as we blaze our collective path forward. The Schwenkfelder Library and Heritage Center is a place for sharing stories of persecution, faith, and tolerance. And in this current time, when immigration is a part of the national conversation, the Heritage Center is a place for sharing stories about the history of so many immigrants arriving in the upper Perkiomen Valley from Germany many years ago. The Schweinfelders came to America in 1731, fleeing religious persecution in Europe it wasn't until the 1880s that the Schwenkfelders initially began to gather books and manuscripts remaining in Schwenkfelder possession, and these later grew to include the historic objects and artifacts that has matured to become the Schwenkfelder Library and Heritage Center. Although our archives contain more than 10,000 historic books, letters, manuscripts, and holdings of many types, and the museum has an incredibly vast collection of original objects and artifacts. These fantastic new resources help us to offer new dimensions to the Schwenkfelder story with expanded space for our library and archives. Our two new galleries allow our visitors to discover many new artifacts, including an 1825 Conestoga wagon and 1826 barn. The idea of building a German uh style born on the campus of the Heritage Center was mine for a long, a long time. I desired it because I thought it was so important to show this type of agrarian society which our Schwenkfeller ancestors came from. As the uh, library considered another expansion a few years ago, it seemed logical that we include a barn. One of the barns on our farm seemed to me to be a good candidate. Our barn is nearly 200 years old. It was first built in 1826 and served our family well for several generations. As years went by, our farming practices changed. We no longer needed the barn to house animals or crops. Donating our barn to the Schwenkfeller Library was important to me. I wanted to preserve the structure that we had used for so many years. Today, when all the food you seem to buy is in the grocery store, people soon lose track of where their food came from. And I hope as people walk through and look around at this barn, questions will come to mind. What was it like to live in that type of agrarian society? What was it like to have to provide the food for your family? 
you didn't go to the grocery store. You were dependent on the soil to deliver food from your uh, ability of planting crops to feed your families. As the representative of Germany here in Pennsylvania, I would like to congratulate you for your wonderful addition of the Schwenkfeder Library and Heritage Center. It is so important that you keep the astounding history of the Schwenkfeder alive and that you tell the story of strong faith, persecution, shelter and religious freedom, a tale we can learn from even in our days. And on a personal note, having grown up as a Moravian in Hernhut, Saxony, I feel a connection to the Schwenkfelder whose spiritual ancestors also found refuge with Count Zinzendorf in the neighboring village of Bertelsdorf. And I look forward to meeting their descendants one day here in Pennsylvania. More than 310 individuals groups and organizations donated to our capital campaign and an incredible, incredible support that they showed us. Our original goal was $3.6 million and we surpassed that by more than 20% to an astounding 4.4 million. And we are just thrilled with all of the donations that we received. The Schwenkfelder Library and Heritage Center is a small grassroots organization that has a very important and meaningful story to tell. And our wonderful newly constructed spaces will better enable us to share the history of our community in new and better ways. So many people thought that this project was so important to their heritage or that of the community that they gave of themselves to make the dream a reality. Thank you again to each and every individual donor, group, and organization for what you have donated to this project. We couldn't have done it without you, and we are so excited to have you come and see your Heritage Center, your home. Thank you. The Schwenkfelder Library and Heritage Center is now open, and we invite you to visit soon. Please see our website, www.schwenkfelder.com, for current hours.